Okay, this is the first look at uh, Windows 8 Developer Preview running on uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, quickly, just a quick look at my specs of my Mac. I have a two point, this is an older Mac, 2008, I believe. I, th I think I got it. Uh, to that, uh, it's 2.26 gigahertz Intel, Intel Core 2 Duo processor uh, with 4 gigabytes of RAM. And um, I think I got a 160 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, so it's not ideal to be running this, but it still works okay. Um, I'm using 1.5 gigabytes of my uh, memory to uh, to run Windows 8, and I'm using uh, VMware VMware Fusion to. Um, as a virtual machine to uh, run a Windows 8 on my on my Mac, and here right here you can see that we got the lock screen. I have it locked right now. Uh, on the screen right now, all it really shows is your uh, network status. It shows I'm connected right now. If I'm not connected, it'll have a little X um, uh, over that screen right there. But the, how you unlock the screen is you just slide it up like similar to uh, Windows Phone 7. And if you have a password set up, you gotta type in your password. First, this is a quick look at the um, the Metro um, setup in uh, Windows 8. You have these flashcards. Um, these all come pre-installed. I didn't I didn't install any of these. Actually, the store is not even open right now. If you click on the store, um, it should come up for that's not open yet, or it's coming soon. Yeah, see, it's coming soon. It's not available yet in the preview. What you can do to go back to the home screen is go down to the left corner. Of course, if you don't, if you don't have a touchscreen computer, um, and then the Start menu will come up. I uh, just click on Start, and it'll bring you back to the the Metro UI here. Um, like I was saying before, this is the desktop, and what I had to do. Right, let's get rid of this. I'll talk about that later there. Uh, what I had to do to get to the full screen, because it was just taking up uh, a little bit of the screen, here I can show you. What I had to do was go to screen resolution and actually change it within Windows 8. It was default set to, I believe, 800 by 600. 800 by 600. So it's showing up like this at first. All you gotta do is set up to a screen resolution, I think bigger than 1300 by 768. That's the only way the Metro UI would work. And those tiles that I was showing you before, but I had it in the 800 by 600, those tiles weren't working for me. When I would, I would click on them and nothing would happen. Um, but as soon as you change the screen resolution, these these tiles become active then, and you'll be able to you'll be able to use them. Just give you a quick run through of some of these apps that I got running here. Um, this is the weather app. It'll come preloaded, I think, for a, a city in California. Um, but uh, doesn't take that doesn't take that much effort to change it to a city you're you're in right now. Uh, Tweeterama is a Twitter application that comes pre-installed. It seems to work pretty okay. Um, uh, just a basic, you got your timeline, you got your tweets right here, and you got who you're following. Um, you can scroll down, of course, and you can use this bar on the bottom here to scroll away, see who you're following and uh, and your followers and etc. Um, but just to send a new tweet, you just gotta click in right in here and then type your message. You can also add a, a picture too by clicking on that, and it'll bring up all the files that it has listed on your computer. Um, and you can easily add pictures from your Mac. 
uh, to your PC. Let's take a quick look at the new Windows Internet Explorer. Um, it's a little odd. It's a little odd at first. I mean, it works okay, but the the the, the bars at the bottom here. You start typing in a website you already been to, it'll start popping up up here. Um, it's obviously really meant for a touch, a touch screen or a tablet interface, um, but it works well on a on a non-touch screen also. That bar at the bottom disappears, as you can see. It's a little slow. It's probably because uh, I forgot to mention that I am recording this software. I mean, I, I'm screen recording using QuickTime, so that's going to be taking up some memory. So this is going to run a little bit slower than it does usually when I'm not doing anything else. When I have Windows 8 running before, uh, when I'm not screen recording, obviously, I have, no, I have nothing open on my Mac, so it runs a lot better. But um, to get back to that menu at the bottom, you just got to right click when you're not using a touch screen interface, obviously. Uh, and you can go back here and go to any website you want. Or as you saw up top there, um, you, can, you can open up new tabs too. A quick tip on how to close programs after you open them. Um, I should have Tweetarama open, I think, right now. And maybe a couple other ones. Here, let's open a couple more just to make sure. Let's open up Alarms, which is obviously just an alarm program. Um, if we go back to the Start menu here. Just like I said before, it's kind of... It's kind of hard sometimes to get that start menu to come up. Uh, let's go to the desktop. And I had a closed program, such as the alarms program I just had open, or any other program. Yeah, the only way I found how to do that is if you go to right click on the bottom uh, bar there and you go to the task ma manager. And by default, it should look like this. It should have the less details selected automatically, and as you can tell, as you can see here, I have alarms running in Tweetorama and uh, Internet Explorer. So if you just uh, end those tags there, um, they'll they'll close in the background. As far as I can know, that's the only way to really close the applications um, that are running on the Metro UI, like the Tweetorama and the alarms. Real quick, here's the control panel. You can customize stuff like your your lock screen. When I first when I first started this video, you can you can customize your picture that's on there. Um, you can also customize your user tile. Uh, I, I don't think the can the webcam works. Uh, I mean, I have obviously I have an iSight camera in my Mac, but um, when I click on that, I don't believe it comes up. It says connect the camera. So I'm not sure if I can set that up or not to use my eyesight camera, but I didn't, I didn't figure that out yet. Uh, you can obviously browse pictures that you have um, on your computer, or what I found is you can go to uh, the Social Light app, which is uh, one of those Metro apps, uh, which is like pretty much a Facebook app for that. For that uh, the Metro UI, and if you have it already loaded and everything, it'll bring up all your pictures that you have on Facebook. Um, and you can just go to your pro profile pictures, for example, uh, and click on a picture you want. And I have, I believe I have this picture selected. You just got to choose image, and it'll load up right on your um, Windows 8 uh, user tile. So I thought that was pretty. That was pretty neat. You have to. Uh, transfer any pictures over to uh, Windows 8, you can just get them right off of Facebook. Um, a couple other things here. You can't add more than one user. I just have myself on there right now. Uh, notifications. Um, I haven't really tested this out yet, but it looks like only a few, about five of them there, um, are available are enabled to uh, use unifications right now. Um, 
you can also have notifications on the log screen but I don't believe if you go back to personalize and go down to add some add an app for the log screen it says there's no apps uh, that can currently show details on the log screen right now so I'm, I'm sure that'll come in time but as of right now there's no apps that can do that so yeah that's about it um, it works it works pretty well how to lock the screen how I had it before yeah, you gotta go to the, click on the picture up there and click lock. And as you see, you saw before, you can you can update the screen to um, any picture really you want. So uh, yeah, that's been a brief preview of um, the, the Windows 8 Developers Preview. You can get it for free free at the Windows 8 Developers Preview website. If you, I'll have a link down at the bottom there in the info. So you can uh, download it for yourself. There's a, I believe, a developer's tools kit, 64-bit uh, version and a 32-bit version uh, that you can download. I have the 64-bit version downloaded here, and it seems to run okay overall. I mean, like I said before, uh, it runs a lot better. It runs a lot better when I don't have screen recording running in the background, um, but for the most part. For developers preview, it, it, it runs pretty good.